what is going on guys it is a beautiful day here at Mosides. beautiful uh, klr adventure bike love it would definitely want to try out one of these so uh right now i'm getting my uh service done and i am just walking around aimlessly at this dealership uh some quads there not really anything particular i think i want to definitely want to check out these Ducatis here nothing uh in particular that i uh kind of want to talk about right now we're uh make sure this is all right now we're actually doing something different uh this recording is not going along with this uh video so when i got home and i rechecked the footage it just sounded like crap look at this thing look how big that is some beautiful Ducatis. look at this white one here i don't want to get sidetracked what was i saying uh yeah so the audio sounded like crap so i mean i'm kind of re-watching this for the first time as it's being edited so try and get the most honest look at this thing here dude it's crazy how small these things are like in person th the race bikes they're not that big and obviously they're designed to cut weight and increase speed and all that stuff but some of these machines here man i watch a uh i watch a dude uh Ducati NYC and he rides a monster and uh love that cut look at that olive that olive green beautiful bike I think one of those red ones is uh is what he got he had an older one and I guess he just got a new one beautiful bike absolutely beautiful bike yeah that's the monster there love it I never rode a naked bike yet I'm I'm kind of excited to uh to ride ride a bunch of different bikes and you know like this this dealership here this is where i bought my motorcycle um ugh, excuse me the uh the, the, the great thing about it is they have like demo days and i know triumph motorcycles and um royal enfield i think i'm pronouncing that correctly uh that's uh that's some of uh that that's two two bikes uh bike brands that are coming up here that i get to ride and this bonnieville is one of them that i want to ride i don't know why i like the seat look how big that seat is i bet that thing is super comfortable ergonomics are upright not aggressive not a big dirt bike fan here's another one beautiful bike absolutely beautiful bike so yeah triumph and royal royal enfield i think is uh is the two that are coming up on my list sometime in April, I believe. Going down down to the Kawasaki's. Some beautiful bikes here. Look at that. Because I don't know too too much about bikes. These are obviously KL or uh uh KRT editions, the green ones. Um and look at this. So my bike was supposed to be the only one in Allegheny County. Supposed to be the only one. And look, there's another one. I don't care. Love it. Absolutely love the bike. That white one there, that's a, that's a 400. I was looking at that bike first. And um, I, I went with a 650, but, you know, this was the bike that I wanted. And even if I had to get another color i would have wrapped white like any of the other ones here's a uh here is a vulcan 650s so it's the same exact exact same exact engine in my ninja and the klrs and the verses or however you want to pronounce them all the same engine uh but this one is in a cruiser and this was a one of the bikes that i was going to get first and uh I, I talked last time about how, look at these monsters, very nice. But when I took that course, I didn't like a cruiser feel, so shot away from it. Look how big that is. Beautiful color. Beautiful color on that bike. It's just so freaking big. So nice. Looks comfortable as hell. I mean, that's, that's what you obviously take. You're going cross-country. 
take a look at some of these other six feet. Speaking of cross country, I'm planning. I, I really would like to go to Utah, dude. I, I would really like to take a trip out to Utah, record what I can record. And uh, I also want to go to Massachusetts. Uh, I like to go to Massachusetts in the fall. Living here in the Northeast, we get a beautiful foliage. And I am so excited to be riding around the mountains in that it's going to be one great time. So excited to do that. So excited to do that. Some more of these beautiful bikes. And I don't think I go to all the uh, like uh, the clothing and stuff. And I personally not a big dirt bike fan. I'm not here for those. Those big whatever those are called. I'm not into those. But some really nice BMWs. And these BMWs are huge, dude. They are such a big bike. Like tall, you know. Got this uh, mustard looking green yellow thing. I wish I would have spent more time like on certain bikes, but I kind of felt a little awkward because I'm kind of walking around the dealership with a helmet on. So I don't know. Look at this thing, dude. I want, I want one of these Hondas so bad. This is a new gold wing. I think it's an inline six. Uh, stats on it probably over a thousand pounds or a little under a thousand pounds i know they have takeoff assist and they have uh i can't remember what uh they have backup that was the other thing but they also have an automatic one which apparently is pretty nice whenever you're going super long distances like that because if you're on the interstate realistically look at this rocket three look at that but with those like long drive on the interstates and stuff yeah i could i could see how you'd want to put cruise control on and just chill and they're probably a pain in the ass uh, when they're manual whenever you're like going through little towns and stuff like that definitely not a commuter bike you know what I mean some nice Indians I'm hoping the audio sounds better too because I uh, I got one of those dead cats that's what they call them they call them dead cats those little fuzzy things that go on the microphone so I'm hoping that'll help the uh, sound. I probably just ruined the video. This thing is interesting because I like it. It looks comfortable, but look at the muffler or the exhaust system. Like I, I, I see that it has that little guard right there for your leg, but let me know in the comments. Like I think that would get hot. I, I'd love to ride that though. I would definitely like to ride that. Some other really big bikes up here. I think one of them is a BMW, that dark or that blue one that I go to. Yeah, this one here. That is a very nice BMW. I think that's a used Harley. Some really nice bikes. And I'm not sponsored. Or anything by this uh, dealership. This is uh, Mosides dealership, and uh, close to the Pittsburgh area. If you uh, you live around here, you know exactly where this is up on the hill. They got really nice selection. This is where I did my MSF course. You know, a free MSF course. I plan on taking my intermediate and advanced one um, during the summer. Also, want to get my CDLs, but that's like that's another thing. Yeah, lots of stuff to look at, and it's cool. Like once you finally buy a bike from one of these dealerships, it's like you know you're. It's cool if you're just like pissing around. These things here, more than cars, some of them. Yeah, I wanted to go check out this uh, this freaking snowmobile. It's crazy, like how big this thing is. Like, I, I'm poor. Where I grew up, poor. Now I'm still poor. And, uh, you know, I didn't have toys growing up, you know what I mean? So I'd, I've actually never seen a snowmobile in person until now, and I'm 32. Yeah. Some pontoon, sea do looking thing. I don't know if that'd be technically a pontoon. I don't know. Don't know. 
big ass razor thing probably costs more than a freaking car definitely more than my car I do love the color on this I love that color that looks really nice really nice stuff here oh and you know hey you know I, I want to also say thank you guys because like uh, when I recorded this this was recorded two weeks ago the video not the audio the audio is being done today today's the 18th and uh, hopefully have this uploaded later tonight and um, but when I was recording this I think I had like I don't know 15 20 subscribers dude we're over a hundred subscribers already that's really cool man and i'm getting a lot of really nice feedback from you guys and you know i'm i'm happy that the res the comments and responses that i'm getting is exactly what i wanted i'm not doing this to showboat i am not a know-it-all uh i'm new to motorcycling and uh i just want to give an honest opinion to a new rider as a new rider because I can tell you right now, I probably watched 10 or 12 different videos entitled Why the Ninja 650 is a great beginner bike, so, or whatever topic I was looking at. And it's always nice to get another perspective of it, especially if you're a new rider, you're about ready to buy your new bike, you know, I mean, there's a lot of information, you know, because bikes are fun, but you got to remember it's an unnecessary risk. You know what I mean? Beautiful Ducati. It's an unnecessary risk. You know what I mean? We don't have to ride motorcycles, but we do ride motorcycles for different various reasons. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's dangerous. It's an unnecessary risk, like I said. And, um, you know, you, you've got to be safe on these things and you can't just, you know, screw around. So I actually have a, a good, uh, video series coming up I want to upload it Tuesday is supposed to be nice here so if I could get out and uh, record at least the first part and then Wednesday it should be okay should be able to record that uh, I want to put up the first video the first video after this um, you know uh, very early next week you know what I mean? Because it's going to be, um, it's going to be about how to mitigate your risk. You know what I mean? And, uh, it's a topic that I would like to get out there. Um, especially when people are starting to buy their bike, just so we're all aware of it. You know what I mean? Um, but super happy, you know, super happy with, uh, however things go. And this is actually, uh, the ride home from that. I'm going to upload this video too. I don't really talk about anything in particular. I'm just kind of driving around rambling. It's cold as hell, by the way, this day. Like, it looks like it's a beautiful sunny day, but it's like 28 degrees. And, uh, so, it's cold. It's a little chilly, but it's a beautiful day. And, uh, I think I was talking about something else. And then got distracted. But, yeah, you know, I just, you know, uh, I just wanted to you know, thank everybody for, uh, for their comments a lot of good stuff you know i do this for a safety reason you know i record for my safety reason i record so i can look back on this i record so i can actually watch my videos and see where i'm screwing up you know what i mean and and guide myself like a uh, some guy uh, said you know great video but you know you're riding in the middle i ride in the middle a lot and that's not good because that's where junk accumulates. You either want to be in the left part or the right part, all depending on the situation. You know, we're going to go over all that stuff. Super excited. And I started an Instagram account. So I'm going to flash the little uh, QR code so you can go ahead and scan it. And uh, meet me over there because I'm going to put some different stuff up, like hints and stuff like that. Just, just fun stuff. It, it's all for fun, dude. That's all this is. You know, when you get your bike, dude, I can't wait to get your bike. Because I want to see your stuff. I want to see your stuff. I love watching motorcycle videos. I even like watching my own motorcycle videos. It's weird. I, I, I just like watching this point of view. But anyways, 
video is about to end. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're on Instagram, share that. So I will talk to you guys and see you guys in the next one. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. All right, yeah.